welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a follow-up video to a previous video I just released where I was comparing both Woodside and Beach. And today I'm going to be running a discounted cash flow analysis of Beach, okay? I don't currently hold any uh, shares with Beach, but I am looking at uh, maybe picking some up in the near future. So I'm trying to establish a price that I'm happy to pay for the business, okay? This is after I've done all the research that I'm happy and I've, you know, I've looked over the last few years' financial reports, I've looked over the sustainability reports, I understand the business, um, I've looked at the fundamentals, and then I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm happy, I want to invest in this business, then I need to establish what the intrinsic value of that, or what I perceive the intrinsic value to be of that business, and then I want to buy that at a margin of safety to what I perceive the business to be worth, okay? Like all the big value time investors use this, Warren Buffett, Monish, Pabrai, Phil Town, they all sort of, use some form of a discounted cash flow analysis. Once they've done, like I've said, done all their research, then they'll run, this is the, one of the last things they'll do, to, you know, try and, so they can sort of get a gauge on what they think the intrinsic value of the business is, and then they want to get that at a margin of safety, usually around the 50% margin of safety. But like I've said in other videos, guys, everything today is purely educational. Take what you will from it. This is not financial advice. I don't know your financial situation. So do your own research. Anyway, let's crack into it. I'm gonna be doing a discounted cash flow analysis of Beach, BPT, listed on the ASX. Today I'm gonna to be using TradeBrains calculator. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to this calculator. By all means, there's a few different calculators out there, all with have slightly different tweaks and variations to them, but they all generally produce the same result in the end. This is the same uh, discounted cash flow analysis that all the big value time investors use, like Monish Fabry and Warner Buffett and Phil Town or use some sort of form of a discounted cash flow analysis. This is after they've researched the company, they understand the business, good management in place, and then they're trying to establish the intrinsic value of the business and then what they're happy and prepared to pay for that business. So let's get stuck into it. Through where I pull the information from, I'm gonna be pulling all the information from Yahoo today, um, but use whatever uh, resource you like to use, if you use Combank or Westpac or, or whatever sort of trading platform you use. But it's just a good way, once you've done all your um, initial analysis, and explore the fundamentals and you, you understand the business, good management in place, then this is a good uh, place to start to try and sort of get a gauge on where, what you're happy to pay for the business. All right, so, so let's get stuck into it. So we're gonna start with free cash flow here. I'm gonna be pulling this off the Yahoo Finance website. So here we are at Beach Energy, da 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 da, $1.33. This is of 23rd of October, so closed on Friday, currently trading at $1.33. We're gonna scroll down here on the financials and the cash flow statement. Okay, so we're gonna carry on down here. And this is at the free cash flow. This is for the last four years there. So I've added these four up, and then I'm gonna divide them by four to give me the average cash flow, okay? So then we go back, and that's the number. Bear in mind, guys, I've dropped the last three zeros here um, off this, it just makes it a bit easier when you're copying and pasting from Yahoo. But by all means, if you wanna put the full number in, then you can. It comes out the same figure in the end, but I like to just drop the last three numbers, makes it a bit easier. Uh, total cash, we're gonna pull this off the balance sheet. So let's go up to the balance sheet. Same again on Yahoo and financials. Go down to balance sheet, and we scroll down, and here we have the total cash. This is of 29th of the 6th, 2020. So I wanna pull that figure there, and there we have it there, okay? Now we're gonna find the total debt, okay? I've, always, I've already put these figures in, but I'm just showing you where I've pulled them from, so you guys can do it with any company that you're trying to research and run a discounted cash flow analysis of. So let's scroll down here. We're same again, we're on the balance sheet. We're scrolling down. Keep going down. And here we have total liabilities, okay? This is all the debt, that both short and long term. So we're gonna pull that figure there. One, just show 1.4 billion. Put it back there, and there we are, total debt. Okay, now total number of outstanding shares. We need to pull this off Yahoo as well. So I'm in the, still on the Yahoo website, obviously, um, and now I'm gonna go to the statistics section, and you can scroll down here, and here we have shares outstanding. That's the total number of shares. So we've got 2.28 billion. So let's go back to a discounted kind of cash flow calculator and we're gonna put that in there. So bear in mind, like I said, we've dropped the last three zeros off that. Um, expected growth rate, I've gone with 12, but let's go back, I'll just show you where I pulled this figure from. So I'll go to analysis, and we're scrolling down here, and this is what uh, analysts are predicting for the next five years, 14.19%. I've gauged that back to 12, but by all means, guys, if you want to do a bit more research around that, 
and what you think the projected growth rate of the business will be, then by all means do a bit of that. I usually just start with this, and then I'll try and do a bit more research if I can find anything. But today we're just going with that 14.19%, um, and then I've gauged that back to 12, just to give myself a little bit more of a margin of safety. So there we have a discount rate of 10. Um, we've got the terminal value, so what? So let's say at the end of 10 years, if the business was to sell all its assets, this is this calculation here. Generally for lower end, um, more high risk investments, I go with 10, but if it's more uh, solid you know, business like Apple, let's say for example, then you could put this at 15, but today we're just gonna go with 10. Another 10% margin of safety there. So we'll scroll down. So they're saying the intrinsic value is $1.81, okay? Um, current share price, like we'll pull that back off here, $1.33, so we'll put that, put that in there. So they're saying that the intrinsic value is $1.81 there, um, and it's slightly saying that it's undervalued, okay? Keep coming in at 26% undervalued. Obviously, if this is above, then it's overvalued, and if it's a negative number, then it means, well, it potentially means that the business is undervalued and under intrinsic value. But yeah, have, by all means, guys, jump on here, have a little play around with the figures, especially if you're wanting to have a little play, I would play with the expected growth rate. That's a good one. That can change things a lot. Um, and the free cash flow, look, I've taken the average of the last four years. Uh, there's, that's, a few, that's a great way I like to do it. They recommend three years, but I've taken four. Divided, so added those last four years of free cash flow and divided that by four. Um, you can run the averages on the other things as well if you'd like, but yeah, I would start just if you want to have a little play with the expected growth rate. And that's that for that, guys. Let's wrap it up there. The discounted cash flow analysis of Beach there. Like I said, I highly recommend you guys jump in and do your own research on this, though. I've left a link to the uh, calculator in the description below, so get in there and start having to play with the numbers. Not just for Beach, but any other company that you're looking at investing in. Start running the numbers, um, see where it's sort of stacking up. Obviously, there's a lot of guesswork in this. We're trying to predict what the future cash flows of the business is going to be in the next five, 10 years. So it's not an exact science or anything, but we're taking hard numbers and we're trying to get intrinsic value of what the business is today and then we want to try and below that, buy that at a below intrinsic value, okay? Manish Barai and Phil Town and Warren Buffett, they try and buy at a 50% below intrinsic value. So you be the gauge of that, what you're happy, what you're comfortable with, um, you know, investing in a business. I'd love to know you guys' thoughts though on Beach. I'm currently not invested in Beach, but I am sort of, they are at the top of my watch list at the moment. Are you guys currently invested in Beach? Where do you sort of see the intrinsic value of Beach? Drop it in the comments below. I'd love to sort of get a bit of a chat going on around it. Anyway, guys, just a real quick sort of video today. So if you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Much appreciated. Helps push these sort of value-based investing videos out a bit further. And if you want to see some more videos like this moving forward, then hit that subscribe button and you'll be the first to know when the next video drops. All right, guys, we'll see you guys in the next video. See you.